What's up, guys? Ian of Winter Dust of here, reacting to Lacey Sturm's Kenotic Metanoia, which is the most interesting album name I've heard literally ever. We are reacting to this on stream because I thought it would just be a good idea to do that. Lacey Sturm, of course, is the original vocalist of the band Flyleaf, and she has been pretty active in the scene, you know, working with Caleb Hiles, um, I believe Starset, Breaking Benjamin, their last record, Aurora. And she's released a 15-track record, which is absolutely crazy. I never really anticipated she would release something as big as this uh i believe it is a 57 minute record uh with 15 tracks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all these tracks and we're just going to listen so we've already liked this video but you guys should like videos more often on youtube and we're going to get right into this with intro my heartbeat Ooh. Okay. Let me please sponsor. Okay. Oh, that's proper heavy. You've never seen a Oh, that's hard. Was that the whole thing? It can't have been. Wow. Whoa. And then it goes right into the next one. Okay. Hold on, ads may appear. So, just a second. Next one is entitled State of Me. I'm going to cut this out when editing the reaction. So, what? Nice. Look at the state of me. You can't deny it. I'm going to walk out, so follow me now. Just get behind me. Okay. Yeah, we're going to we're going to start that over. Whoa. That started quick. Yeah, we're going to we're going to act like that faded in. Oh my god. Yeah, my internet is shite right now. Look at the state of me. You can't deny it. I'm gonna walk out, so follow me now. Just get behind me. Look at the state of me. You can't deny it. I'm gonna walk out, so follow me now. Just get behind me. Ooh. 
Okay. Damn. Ooh, that guitar? I love this section. So this is the pre-chorus. Okay. Damn. This is really good. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, chugging it up. Yo, that was awesome. What a first couple of tracks. Absolutely wonderful. Um, as I said, I've been a, a, a fan of Lacey's work for a while. Um, you know, all the way going back to Flyleaf. And this is really reminding me of that. Um that sort of era it's very much um modernized it has a lot cleaner of a sound it's and it's very much more her style instead of um a band like a like a fuller band's vision it's very much what she brought to flyleaf just expanded on and with i don't know like, I don't know how to say it, but this is just so cool so far. I really loved how um, the tracks faded into each other. Um, the ending of track one had this, like, really unsettling ending where it, it like, it faded in like that. And it had the the ch or the the high pitched laughter in the background with the ominous chords. And it was it was really interesting. The ending. <sighs> okay. Let's get in to track number three, technically, on the record. We have Are You Listening? Let's do it. Whoa. 
Oh. Ooh. Okay. That's dirty. Whoa. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that chorus is huge! Damn! Verse instrumental is so good. So good. What the hell? Oh, my God. What are we doing? Are we breaking down? Cause we've gotten a breakdown. Are we are we breaking down or are we I don't know. Okay, back to chorus. Cool. Wow. Oh my god. Nice. Ooh, nice. I am very much listening, and I am very much enjoying this. Yo. Okay. Yeah, that track was... I'd say besides, um... Breathe With Me and Reconcile. Like... Um, I can't remember, uh, which one of those two I liked better. Um, I remember Reconcile having the breakdown and Breathe With Me had Lacey Sterling, uh, Lindsay Sterling, of course. Um, but I can't really say which one I liked better than the other, um, I guess. I don't know. But this is probably my favorite song on the record right now. It just, it has this sense of huge power, you know? It has this really epic sensibility. Um, yeah, I just, I love that. I love that. That's really cool. I, I love this one. 
All right, now we have The Decree, the official lyric video. This was released roughly two years ago, or three years ago now. So I'm interested to see how this connects with the themes of this album so far. Let's do it. The Decree. Okay. Whoa! Yo. She collects gray drops of rain inside the bottom of her glass. Till the world is gone from upside down to right side up again. Cause she believes till she can see. Ooh. Ooh, the bass. It's so present in this track. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here. This is crazy. I haven't heard Lacey do this much in terms of harsh vocals in a long time. And I believe Reconcile was another one where she kind of just let loose in terms of that. So I'm wondering how just how much of it are we gonna get here with this record? I'm I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's keep going. No. Okay. Come on. Solo? What? Oh. 
God. That's such a powerful track, dude. That's nutty. Wow. I I loved that one. That one was so Wow. Agreed. This is this is I mean, let's be real. This is just Flyleaf evolved. <laughs> like Lacey, I think made Flyleaf very special during the time that they were active. And of course they have their classics, but it's like this is so much prouder. It's so much more I, I, I don't know the word. Like I, I I don't know which word I'm trying to use here, but there's there's just a presence about this album that's so different than Flyleaf's material I think ever was. And I feel like that presence is as a whole what's making this album better. I really, really love it so far. Like it I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. This is crazy. Yeah. It yeah, it's very similar in sound but the the complexities and the heaviness are more at the forefront. Okay, yeah, this is great so far. Like, what the hell? Why didn't I? Why, why didn't I review this earlier? <laughs> Alrighty. Now we have a nearly six-minute track here with "Terrible Mistake." Also, I love this album cover with just her but with the little bit of color in the paint um i'll show you guys the the little bit of color in this paint that's cool that's neat i don't know why i like that so much but i do i really do like that all right <laughs> terrible mistake what is the mistake do you need help I don't know. All right, what do we got? Okay, let's go. Starting off strong. Ambient vibe. Damn that symbol. drums there that was sick you know what let's r rewind that back rewind that back that drum fill is so cool it's very simple but it was so good
That symbol goes crazy there. I like that it starts and then rises up into the, the higher notes there. They made a turbo. I like that. Okay. So let's go. Right back into the chorus, let's go! Wow! Wow! vibes of this ending. Yo. Wow. What a way to make a long track really, really fun. That was hella enjoyable. This probably my favorite track on the record so far. This was so good. What? Yo, okay, so I'm normally a fan of longer songs. I think more bands should do more songs that are more than just four and a half, like three to four and a half minutes. And this was a perfect example of one of those songs done right. The specific sections never went on too long, I don't think. The verses were very... Like, the entire song had this very serene, calm feel to it that the other tracks didn't have. Th this felt more like a tonal reset of any other... Like, if it were any other album, this would be the tonal reset to, to kind of pull the viewer back in, give them a little bit of a breather. But considering we still have 10 tracks left, I don't think this is necessarily the reset. Um... But it was great. I loved, loved this track. It had this very almost Western kind of feel in that beginning segment. And then it delved more into the, the alt rock and metal that Lacey is known for. And the solo, the solo, man. That entire bridge was fantastic. It, it was so beautiful. Okay. One third of the way through the album. This is fantastic so far. Holy crap, man. Okay. 
All right. Next one up, we have Wonderful. Like video? Let's go. Ticking clock. Okay. This world is ending faster than you think. We will float in concrete, we'll sink. And I will bring your heart to the brink. Ooh. It's fun. Talk about zero to one hundred real quick. <laughs> the it it had the, it had this just fun like almost poppy section for a little bit there. What the fuck? Let's go back to that. That was like back here. Hold on. Yeah, this. It's like. Groovy fun? And then it goes into this. And then it just gets heavy! For no reason other than to say fuck you! Damn! Wow. Is this the chorus or is this the post chorus? Okay, so that must be like a refrain, maybe? Harmonies here. Whoa. Yo. This is so good. Ooh, the drums here. voice at the end of that that phrase the harmonies here
Wow. Ooh, nice. That translates very well. Okay. Wow. I love that. This album is just so unique so far. I think that's the best word I can use to describe this album. It's just each song has their own individual flavor from the others, which these days, especially in modern metal, you don't get songs that really can separate themselves from each other, especially when they're in an album that's, you know, as big as this is. This is a 15-track al album, and I think every single song has had its own distinct uh, complex sound to it that doesn't like you can you can put it in with the rest but it doesn't feel monotonous it doesn't feel boring going from one track to the other they don't all sound the same which is really cool it's again it's not something that's done in modern metal a lot and I love that the wonder wonder wonderful portion uh translated well with the heaviness at the end i felt like that's where uh she was going with that but i didn't know for sure okay yeah that was awesome oh man so many good tracks in this album and we're only we're only six tracks in. i've only heard eight of them because i checked out the two singles but wow this is so good so far okay damn yeah, I'm I'm loving this. I'm loving this. We have a man needs a maid. Hmm. Okay. Going a bit slower this time. The drums are so good. Like, I'm noticing these drums. A solo already? Lacey, what are you doing? Ooh. 
I love this soundscape here. That drop hits so hard. Wow. Another solo. Lacey, what are you doing? Is that the track? No, no, no. There's gotta be more. No, that is the track. That's the whole thing. Wow. Okay. That one was interesting. That one didn't... I wouldn't say it necessarily wowed me. Like a bunch of the others on this album had. But, again, they all have their very own very distinct very natural flavor they have their very own feel to them these songs and i really really like that there's i don't know i don't know what it is that's making me love this so much maybe it's just because it's lacy and i've loved lacy's music since since the flyleaf days but it's like, oh man, this is so cool so far. Wow. Oh my God. I, I, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm absolutely loving this. Like, it, <laughs> we are, this is the eighth track on the record. So we are officially at the very half point of the record. This is insane. Like, this is actually crazy. Ah, oh, man. Wow, this album is nuts. Okay. Alright, we have Thief. Okay. Holy crap, this is so good so far. What the fuck? Hey, nice. Okay. Ooh, this sounds like Breaking Benjamin. Yo, this really feels like Breg and Benjamin. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> this is just a Breaking Benjamin song. This is just... <laughs> the screams in the back. Yeah, this feels like Phobia era Breaking Benjamin. Yeah. 
noises. Yo, that solo was wacky. That was cool. Wow. Awesome. I loved that track. That w that just felt like a uh, a phobia era breaking benjamin song that's what that felt like and that's awesome <laughs> i would love to see more bands go back into that era like the the breaking benjamins the flyleafs all that just to just to see what they could do with that modern like modernize that sound i would love to see what could be done with it that was really cool um, but she also put her own spin on it with that solo, uh, that, that bridge was really wacky. <laughs> like the, the first portion of that really just threw me for a loop cause it had all these wacky noises with the guitar work. Like, I don't know that, that, that was a little bit off putting, I will admit, but very good nonetheless okay so we are now at the back half of the album which is interesting to say because we have been here at least i've been streaming for over an hour now but we still have more to go so we're gonna get to more what are we what are we just talking here about it all right we have not your fight Interesting title. Okay. This is like a flick up your lighter. Awesome. I love the little guitar flex in that. This chorus, it's so huge, but it's very calm. Oh, 
This album has a lot of solos, I love it. This track is interesting because it feels like this would be the tonal reset of the album. I've talked about, you know, the the tonal reset of albums uh, prior to now in several reactions. And this feels like it would be that for this album. But at the same time, we are what now? We are 10 tracks in? Um, well, this isn't the 10th that wasn't the 10th track that was the ninth but it just it feels a little bit hmm i mean i guess it makes sense okay okay yeah never mind i'm wrong what am i talking about <laughs> all right all right all right all right so we've got a Got to do one of these. We got to. We got to. We got to. We got to do this thing. Wait, what? Wait, what the hell? Doing one of these again. All right. Sorry. Okay. Come on. All right. Next up, we have track 10 with Awaken Love. Now, this is a music video. I am going to try and make sure here that we don't get the uh the ban hammer on us <laughs> um so let's do it this one's called awaken love interesting title That's cool. Hey, yo, what? Is Lindsay Sterling here again? <laughs> So gorgeous. This would go in my soul at your name. I in my skin. But the love letters you left are like a ribbon lacing through my chest. Oh, 
Oh, we ascending with this one. I can't show it, I don't think, but this video is phenomenal. Ooh. What are we building to? Sends this so well. Wow. Lag. Wow. Sorry about the lag at the end there, but wow. That was amazing. The music video. I wish I could have shown you guys that, but I don't know if it's... Uh, copy blocked enabled or not but wow that was amazing i'm really i really like that one it it was so different from the others because they all have this very marchy very uh fist pumping presence to them at least most of them have but this had this very just floating through the clouds on a nice breeze kind of feel. It didn't feel like anything grandiose. It didn't feel like it was trying to be something that it wasn't, if that makes sense. Like, it didn't feel like it was anything more than itself. Like, the rest of this album has felt like this epic journey. And this felt like what would be the culmination of that, maybe? I don't know. 
Huh. I really like this track. It was so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. All right. Now we have Reconcile. Reconcile, um, I believe, uh, was my favorite of the singles um, for this album that I listened to. I listened to this and Breathe With Me featuring Lacey's Lindsay Sterling. So I forgot that I didn't leave a like on the actual music video. I left it on the topic version, though. So let's get into it. Reconcile. I love this track. I thought my knuckles were bleeding for the right reasons. Fighting the good fight in every open season. Now my hands are busy pulling out planks of wood. My eyes circuits filling up with my own blood. Waiting for the clarity to come But maybe I'm just bleeding to death And maybe that's just the fate of my own blood So we were waiting by reckoning myself already dead It's just so heavy, dude Like, this is properly heavy. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <clears throat> I love that main riff. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. the leads in this bit. Love that, like, mini breakdown. Yo. Such a great tune. Such a great fucking song. Oh, I love it. It's so heavy. 
compared to everything else on this record. It's just, it's just, whoa. All of a sudden, the guitars come blasting in. The drums go fucking crazy. It's like, th- that track has no business being as heavy as it is on an album like this. Wow. Yeah, I love that one. Alrighty. Huh. And now we officially have begun the last piece of the album. The last four tracks. Um, I think, honestly, what we're going to do is we're going to listen to all of these in a row. And then I'll come up with my final thoughts. So, let's just do it. Well, depending on how I feel about each of the songs. This one is called... Um, this one is called I Died, which is an interesting title. Let's do it. Okay. There we go. Whoa! What the fuck? Okay. So dirty. I feel like I've heard this song before. It feels so familiar. something stupid here. It either goes zoom zooms or doom doom. Or back to chorus. Doom doom. Cool. 
Wow. Wow, that was exceptional. That was so much heavier. Like, I, <laughs> I said Reconcile was heavy. That's heavy. That is heavy Lacey at her finest. That was awesome. I feel like The Decree and this have been the heaviest that this album has gotten. And I love it. I love it when Lacey gets heavy. I really do. I think it's such uh, a cool dichotomy because she goes by this alt-rock, alt-metal feel, but she doesn't lean into the heaviness. She leans into the melody and the beauty of it. But there are rare times, like in The, the Decree, uh, I believe that was track three or four, and that one... And reconcile where she just really leans into the heaviness and I love that I think that's just so cool all right we have this track breathe with me featuring Lindsay Sterling um, the violinist world famous probably my favorite violinist ever um, so yeah we're, we're going to re-listen to it because I fucking love this song. We are going to put that over it. Just in case. I love this song. Lindsay's violin and Lacey's vocals just work so well in tandem together. Way better than I thought they would. I love the vocals right here, the harmonies. God, Lindsay's so good. God, it's so good. So beautiful.
God, it's such a beautiful song. I love that track. It's just, it's such a cool collaboration. Like, honestly, I never would have thought that Lacey and Lindsay would work together on a song. And not only that, I didn't think their voices would go well together. But boy, was I wrong. Boy, was I just the wrongest person ever. Like, or the, the violin... And Lacey's voice. I never thought they would just... I, I never thought they would work as well as they did. And they did. They worked so, so well in tandem with each other. It's astounding. Just... I also got to talk about the mixing of this album, too. Because it's been wonderful so far. This album is beautifully mixed. It's beautifully mastered. Every track just feels... As I said, every track besides um, ah, track 11, that was track 10, besides uh, Awaken Love, has just felt very epic and grandiose. And I, it's so weird because I haven't felt that another album has felt like this in a while. There's just so many unique elements with this album that I really, really love. Wow. And now we're on to the final two tracks. We have End the Wars and Outro. With, break, with bringing back the intro technically entitled My Heartbeat. So, let's get into both of them. End the wars. A blanket of black and solitude to face the silent. Okay. My lover's quiet. Escape the pain of three wars against my senses. The chaos wars Wars of seeing, hearing, and speaking Wars of seeing, hearing, and speaking Constant wars In the wars Now there's only one war left for me to fight And it's the battle for my own heart The battle
Wow. There's a heartbeat in the back. There's a small bassy. That's interesting. Holy crap, man. Canonic Metanoia from Lacey Sturm. I gotta sing the praises again. The fact that every single song had their own unique flavor in a modern metal album is rare. It is rare to find a record these days that has, especially of this length, like 15 songs going long that has this much diversity in its track list. Every single song just felt different from each other. And I mean no offense to bands like Polaris or Super Bloom or, I mean, um, um, Silent Planet or even Asking Alexandria with their newest album. Or, you know, even Mark Hudson with Ast Astrolife or uh, Starbound Stories. Like, they all have this 
same sensibility to them. And I don't like I don't particularly mind that, but it's great to see an album that's breaking out of that mold. It's nice to see an album that has so many tracks but is just so different across all of those tracks. And again, the mastering on the the album like production-wise, this album is I think genuinely perfect. Uh, I don't think anything could have been done better. Lacey's voice is just still so powerful so many years after doing stuff with Flyleaf. It's amazing how far she's come in a lot of her ability. Like she there were a bunch of times during Flyleaf that I can recall even though those songs are classics and I love them where some of the approaches to them were a bit infantile at best I would say um it just this feels like such an evolution of that sound that used to be there modernizing it putting a polish on it and putting a personal touch on it on Lacey's part I loved this record this was genuinely fantastic I don't know what else to say holy shit okay that's about it from me. I've been Ian of Winter Dust. Have we reacted to Canotic Metanoia from Lacey Sturm? If you like what you saw, leave a like. Leave a comment below what you thought of my reaction, the album itself, Lacey Sturm, Flyleaf. Where's she going to appear next? We can only guess. <laughs> but that's about it from me. Peace. In due time.